in today's Health Watch. From placenta pills boosting energy to going gluten-free to drop the pounds. It seems like a new health and fitness trick pops up just about every week. But do all of these really work or do they work for everyone? Catherine Talmadge is a dietitian and the author of Diet Simple and joins us this morning to try and sort it all out. And I'm sure uh, you kind of get into it a little bit in your, uh, in your book, uh, Diet Simple. Um, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, you know, one of the big ones that I'm hearing a lot of people talk about are um, the genetically modified organisms, and a lot of people are trying to avoid those. Uh, perhaps it's a personal issue, but is there a, a reason health-wise that we need to be avoiding those types of things? Well, the Food and Drug Administration has done research on GMOs and found that they are nutritionally the same as conventional foods. Mm -hmm. So I consider it a personal choice, and people should be told whether they're eating GMO foods. If they want to avoid GMO foods, organic is the way to go because by definition, organic foods cannot be GMO. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of people that say, well, you know, the FDA seems hasn't, you know, there hasn't been any evidence out there yet, but, you know, there's still people that point to all these different studies and, you know, is there seem to be mounting evidence, though, that there is an issue with some of these? There's no mounting evidence that there's a mm -hmm. nutritional issue, okay. that these foods are processed any differently in the body than conventional foods. It's more of an environmental issue, um, and I think it's a personal choice. Though, that said, there haven't been really long-term human studies to determine all of this. Let's talk about these placenta pills um, as well. Uh, this was something I thought was kind of interesting, that... Um, women who have given birth are having their placenta put into pill form. Why are they doing this and what are, are there any health benefits from it? Well, there was a fad that, um, <clears throat> that a pregnancy hormone helped women lose weight. But that has, been, that has not been proven by science. So I would ignore any placenta pills and, think, and realize that's a fad. Mm -hmm. All right. Another one, this has been a huge topic, and I know we've talked about it a little bit um, in our Health Watch on the show here, but a lot of people that are going gluten-free. Now, of course, we know there are people that have to do this that have celiac disease, but also some other people who say, you know what, it's not just those with celiac disease. I have a gluten sensitivity. Um, you know, is that the case? Are we really starting to see that there are more and more people that have issues with gluten, or is there something else going on here? I think most of the people who are going gluten-free today don't need to be going gluten-free. And they're missing out on very important nutrients when they don't eat grains. Um, the Mediterranean diet, the healthiest diet on the planet, is based on gluten-containing wheat products, such as pasta. Mm -hmm. the, all the studies that show that whole grains prevent cancer, diabetes, heart disease, we're all based on gluten-containing grains, mostly wheat, mm -hmm. which contains such important nutrients, including fiber. Mm -hmm. Which we know also, I mean, there are some people who have issues with wheat, but you had mentioned as well that, you know, some of your clients that come in that have tried the gluten-free diet, that, you know, they have all kinds of issues intestinally and gas, yes. you, you know, with digestion. Right, right. Going gluten-free makes you miss out on fiber and other nutrients, and a lot of people get gastrointestinal issues, including mm -hmm. constipation, and when they start adding the grains back to their diet, they start feeling better again. But they start, but they measure the grains, and they're careful about what grains they eat. When people feel better after cutting out gluten-free, it's usually because they've cut out desserts, muffins, a lot of snack foods, mm -hmm. which are based on wheat products and refined and not good for you and high calorie. Mm -hmm. So when you cut those things out, you feel better, you lose weight, and then mistakenly attribute that to being gluten-free, when in reality, you're cutting excess refined flour and uh, high calorie products. Mm -hmm. Catherine Talmadge, the author of Diet Simple, registered dietitian. Thanks for coming in and talking about this. I know there's other health trends out there as well we don't have time to get to, but it's really something to think about when you're starting to, you know, deal with a diet or go for that latest health trend. So thank you. Thank you. Steve, over to you.